Maryland's largest employer is also one of its most secretive. But behind the gates at Fort Meade, some of the 51,000 people working there are focused on shoring up the nation's cyber defense. Joy LaPola takes us inside the nearly $2 billion facility. The fort is now the front line of this country's cyber defense. Hopefully we're able to kind of muddle through it to prevent a cyber Armageddon or a cyber Pearl Harbor event from taking place. The East Coast power grid being shut down for weeks because, you know, uh, uh, because we cannot get our utility infrastructure back up and operational. Imagine, you know, that event. Imagine what that would cause. Colonel Brian Foley is the garrison commander for Fort Meade. He spoke with me over lunch. But, but a, key, a key challenge in this new domain, too, it's the attribution piece. It's where did this attack come from? The National Security Agency is headquartered here, as is this nation's relatively new cyber command, which the president created a few years ago. So a huge number of those people are the, are the, the people that work right here. A central command post where the war against cyber terrorism is about to break new boundaries as personal privacy and national security hang in the balance. The more secure you, we are in the cyber domain, to some degree we would have to trade some level of freedom to, for security. It's a scale, and we have to, we have to figure out where the right balance, where we, we're comfortable as, as Americans with that balance.